Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I hope you're safe and well, because of course that is the most important thing. Right. News today. Um, something that came out last week from ECA. You may be involved in testing for REACH. And if you are, you may have heard of eogurts, E-O-G-R-T studies. That's extended one generation reproductive toxicity studies. Now, these things are like almost a super tanker of an animal test. Uh, they were brought in in 2015 as part of REACH, and they are therefore relatively new. Now, what's happening is that there's a review going on at ECA with various people at the moment, and they started in May. So last week, they decided that there was enough information already that is part way through their review of this relatively new test to be able to give out some advice for people who are going through this test or rather companies who have done this. Now, bearing in mind, it takes about two years to do it and about 1200 animals are involved. So this is this is a massive, massive sort of test. Um, so they they have said things like, oh, you've got to make sure you're using the correct dose and various other things. Now, I'm going to put the link below this video just now. The concern that there is uh, in the consultancy community, if there is such a thing, is that what happens to these tests that are part way through? You know, do we have to wait till the end of them and then Eka turn around and go, sorry, that's not good enough? And to a certain extent, you know, if you do change things like the dose you're giving animals partway through, does that invalidate the test itself? So there are lots of question marks over this. And it does seem to be a bit, um, I don't know, a bit unreasonable to expect companies to suddenly change course when you've got this really long test going on. The good news is, uh, as uh, Stephen Bounds, uh, one of my colleagues, says, is that most tests that have started recently are already aware of things like needing to have a, a big enough dose. Um, but uh, there is still that question mark hanging over everything of, are we going to find that we get to the end and we're going to be told to do it all again? And uh, when I was explaining to Mike about this, uh, my husband, he said, hang on a minute, I thought REACH was supposed to reduce the amount of animal testing. Well, exactly. Anyway, uh, on much pleasanter matters, although politically incorrect, the uh, Dick Emery reasons to be cheerful today uh, is about Hetty, his lonely spinster. Excuse me, madam. Miss. <laughs> if you're the right age, you'll know what I'm talking about. And this one is social life. It's an absolute classic of the genre. Uh, and I hope that uh, you watch it in the spirit that it was intended. <laughs> this was long, long before political correctness arrived. Ah, happy days. Okay, I'll hope to see you tomorrow. Stay safe and well till then and uh, take care of yourselves.